Hi, today is another Musical Monday, and I am You Know Who. I am going to share the song called Come to the Altar that I just recently learned due to the fact that I wanted to sing it in church and didn't know all the words. I've noticed that when I sing it here or record it or something, it's easier for me to remember the words. So I hope you find this song encouraging. I think this song is absolutely beautiful. And of course, it's fun to sing. So I hope you enjoy this song. Come to the Altar by Elevation Worship. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin? Jesus is calling. Have you come to the end of yourself? Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is calling. Come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness is bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Leave behind your regrets and mistakes. Come today, there's no reason to wait. Jesus is calling. Bring your sorrows and trade them for joy. From the ashes, a new life is born. Jesus is calling. Come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness is bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, what a Savior! Isn't He wonderful? Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. Bow down before him, for he is Lord of all. Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. Oh, what a Savior, isn't he wonderful? Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. Bow down before him, for he is Lord of all. Sing hallelujah, Christ is risen. Oh, come to the altar, the Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness is bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Come to the altar, the Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness is bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Bear the cross as you wait for the crown. Tell the world of the treasure you found. There's always room at the altar. I think sometimes church people live in this, you don't go to the altar unless you're a sinner who needs to be saved. 
But the truth is anybody who belongs to Jesus needs to be at the altar. It doesn't matter if you are, have been saved for a long time or haven't been saved for a long time or what. There's a saying in the church world, the altar is where sinners become saints and saints become strong. And the funny thing about that is I feel like there's this secret that you really don't need to go up to the altar if you have been in Christ or have professed him as your Lord and Savior. And if you do, shame, shame on you. But the truth is we should be at Jesus's feet all the time and wherever, whenever we're at Jesus's feet, it is an altar. You can have an altar right there in your room. You can have an altar in your car. You can have an altar in the bathroom. To be at the altar is to just be at Jesus's feet. That's where we need to be daily, constantly at Jesus's feet, surrendering ourselves to him and asking for his strength to endure. My encouragement to you is if you are a person who belongs to Christ and you also attend a regular fellowship and you feel this fearful, embarrassing thing over you that says you can't go up to the altar because people are looking at you and they should be thinking that you're already a Christian and why are you going up to the altar, then please, 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 please rebuke Satan and find yourself at Jesus's feet because there's no better place for you and for me. That's it. Have a great day. Toodles. Toodles.